Hey guys, it's Alex Brandall with Keller Williams Luxury in Nashville, Tennessee, bringing you the September 2022 market update. And we're bringing you some of our favorite features from the top of the market, some statistics to share when you're out and about, and even a fun and exciting house from a celebrity out and about in Nashville. So let's jump right in. We've got two top of market homes to share with you this month. The first one is in Davidson County, and it's actually 4706 Belmont Park Terrace. It's a four bedroom, four bath and a half bath, 5,700 square feet, listed by our friends Lacey Newman and Jonathan Hurd at Compass. This is a great new listing that in the market that has just closed, and it closed for $3.45 million. And that was the top of the market for Davidson County, but it has an amazing pool, really nice private estate right in the heart um, of Green Hills. It's a 2016 build and was a vintage South development. Um, they really did some additions to it and really added a significant amount of outdoor space and serious landscaping. Enjoy some of the pictures as we look at this particular top of market sale that closed just this month. As we turn our attention just a little bit south into Williamson County, many of you have asked for us to do this feature in both markets. So here we are listening to exactly what you asked us to do. When you pivot to Williamson County, top of market closed sale just closed this month was 3675 Bear Creek Road in Thompson Station at $11.475 million. That's $1,700 a foot. It also had a significant uh, home on it, four bedrooms, five baths, one half, 3,700 feet. And this was a significant property that also had quite a few uh, acre acreages that went with it. Acres, acreages, which one is it? Acres. Anyway, we'll go with the fact that this one closed just outside of Leapers Fork and was a spectacular house listed by our friend Francis Gardner and uh, really pleased to show that that uh, property is sold. We'll share some of the things, really cool approach and drive with that particular property, but really special sale that happened recently. So a couple of statistics to share with you as you're out and about in the market, talking with people, some interesting things happening. There's a pretty significant price break in the price categories as you look at the luxury market in Middle Tennessee. Specifically, it's a pretty robust market. Everyone wants to know how's the market, right? The market is still extremely good. You're hearing a lot of things out there, but look at the data. And when you look at the data, there's still significant sales happening, significant inventory, and no matter the market conditions, things are still happening out there, right? So one of the things we saw is over a million and a half is starts to cut the sale volume in half. So everything from 900 to a million and a half still very robust and still an inventory issue. However, as you shift up, uh, up from a million and a half to two and a half million, there's still a pretty robust market. But then after that two and a half million, it cuts in half again as far as the number of sales that are happening. So starting to see a shift on those upper ends. Interestingly enough, as you look to some of the specific market statistics versus this same time last year, there's actually over three times the number of homes on the market than this same time last year. That's a huge increase and a really significant thing for the market, which means you can actually go look at houses and have an inspection and have contingencies, which we all know was not the case this time last year. So we're still seeing significant inventories, people still moving from lots of different markets, but that's a really interesting uh, thing that we've noticed in the past, um, you know, in the past few weeks. Additionally, we're seeing almost exactly the same number of sales as the same time last year. There's just more houses on the market, which is a wonderful thing that gives us more opportunity and more choices. So those are just some of the things we've seen in the market. We'd love to know what you've seen, and we'd love to know anyone that you know that we need to add to this list or that we can help buy or sell in Middle Tennessee. Hope you're doing great. Have a great September, and hope to see you real soon.